The Triglavians are weird. It has been a little over a year since their appearance in EVE Online in May of 2018, and they are still very mysterious and weird. And yet the nature of the Triglavians doesn't seem like one of those empty, unknowable mysteries. There seems to be something of real substance behind this mask waiting to be revealed. As usual, I will give you a summary of the basics first. The Triglavians are EVE Online's newest non-player faction. They are unlike any NPC factions in EVE. Exploration players began to find these things called abyssal filaments and archaeological relic sites. When these filaments are used, it opens a strange sort of portal or wormhole into abyssal dead space. The nature of this space is very strange. There are harsh solar winds, electrical and firestorms, planetary debris, and is populated by the strangest of Eve's NPCs, those being rogue drones, sleepers, drifters, and the Triglavians. I will have to cover what rogue drones, sleepers, and drifters are in another video, as they are also pretty interesting, but not quite as interesting and interactive as the Triglavians. From these abyssal dead space pockets, which have to be run through in a certain time frame before collapsing and destroying the player's ships and capsule, lots of interesting loot can be found, including the blueprints for the Triglavian technology and ships. Without getting too technical, I'll say that the primary Triglavian weapon, Entropic Disintegrators, operate pretty differently than other weapon systems in EVE, but they are very destructive, and their armor-based defenses seem to be set up to work well in groups. Also, the Triglavian and countersuits became available, a kind of armor covered in a cloak, as a new clothing item for players. The players seem to really like these kind of Sith-like costumes, which have become very popular. Several months later, a Triglavian worm took over all the billboards in New Eden. Now, these billboards float near stargates and stations. They normally play things such as items for sale, corporation recruitment clips for both NPC corps and player corps, things like that. Most players were oblivious to the billboards being taken over, including myself, until I really stopped to listen to the Triglavian message from this entity, Zoria of Triglav. I may have to break that message down in a separate video, but here's a short clip. We are, we are Zoria Triglav. Triglav. We speak for the, we speak for the congregation of Trigos outside the struggle. We are an emanation of the clades. We are an emanation of the clades of Perun, Veles, and Svarog. Hear the words of our prayer. Hear the words of our prayer. And heed them. And heed them. The ancient domains beyond the floor. The ancient domains beyond the floor of Vimar were lost to us. The creatures from the ancient domains entered the flows. Intruders seek to corrupt the flow of Viraj and the domain of Bujan. The ancient enemy as Daja must be extirpated. Now was this message a warning, a challenge, a declaration of war? No one knew, but mysterious signs of something big coming were everywhere. Capsuleers began to find intercept messages about a giant Triglavian ship as well as giant Triglavian shipyards in Abyssal Dead Space. Some months later, Abyssal portals opened on their own in various parts of high security space, and out of them poured hundreds of Triglavian ships, and at their core would be a giant megaship dwarfing any Titan in Eve called the Hordage World Arc Ship. I have made a separate video about this ship, which you'll find linked in the description. This marked the beginning of the Triglavian invasion in HiSec. Normal activities such as mining, missioning, and some logistics are very dangerous in these invasion zones. Triglavians roam these systems and kill anyone who lingers idly for too long. Even Concord, which is New Eden's HiSec police force, could do little about these invasions, so it fell to the Capsuleers, or the players themselves, to repel them. This was possible with large capsuleer fleets consisting usually of battleships to repel the core of the invasion force, which would conclude with the withdrawal, not the destruction, of the Hordaz World Arc ships in that particular invasion zone. Of course, there are several invasions taking place 
in any given time. Not long after these invasions began, another mysterious NPC faction that's been around for a while, the Drifters, which are weird necrophiles that turn corpses into cyborgs, invaded Nullsec, which is sovereign space controlled by the players themselves. They came through and destroyed several player ships who were sitting idle, caught by surprise, as well as some low power player stations that were left undefended. This invasion didn't last long, but it seems to be no coincidence that it happened not long after the Triglavians invaded Hisek. I'll explain why, as it's time to get into what the Triglavians are, at least what we think they are, and what seems to motivate them. First, I must touch briefly on the Jove Empire, which is a now extinct but highly advanced civilization that somehow managed to avoid the same Dark Age that engulfed the rest of New Eden some 20,000 years in the past. The Jove were thought to have near godlike technology, but a mysterious virus led to the first Jove Empire's downfall. There was a second Jove Empire, and I believe a third after that, only they never quite matched the power of the first. But in all those cases, the Jove are, as far as we know, gone. They are dead or left. They went somewhere else, but they're gone to be sure. New Eden is full of ancient mysteries, technologies, and materials. Players often find this material to sell or enhance their ships and weapons. A lot of this stuff seems to have come from precursor Jovian factions, or possibly offshoots. But also, a lot of Triglavian loot, ships, and weapons are labeled precursor. This all points to the Triglavians being an offshoot of the ancient Jove Empire. How they came to live in abyssal space is a mystery, if that is in fact their home. Now the Drifters, also thought to be of Jovian origin, are silent with an agenda that is not known. The Triglavians are very vocal, albeit cryptic, about their intentions. Those intentions are to extirpate or forcefully remove like a cancer, all that they view as corrupt and unworthy, but most especially the Drifters, whom they call the ancient enemy Azdaja. Now, speculation about the origins of the Triglavians, what they will do next, is a long and deep rabbit hole, and we have to move on to the rest. Perhaps in some future more lengthy videos we can go into this rabbit hole, but first, a few more details about the Apocrypha of the Triglavians, because even without all this origin mystery, they are very fascinating. Obviously, Triglavians are obsessed with multiples of three. You can even see this in the design of their ships. Their language uses triangular symbology, as does their writing. Trinary math problems are fun and interesting, such as the three-bodied problem, as it pertains to things like orbits. In fact, I heard a rumor that the nature of the Triglavians was inspired by the sci-fi novel Three-Bodied Problem by Lu Cixin, an award-winning sci-fi novelist. I've read it myself and it was a pretty good read. Also, almost everything the Triglavians speak of alludes heavily to Slavic mythology. Triglav is a three-faceted Slavic deity, further broken down to Svarog, Velas, and Perun, which are also the three main factions of the Triglavians in the game. Now here again, we can dive into a very deep rabbit hole. Slavic mythology and influence spans a very large region of the ancient world. It's rich, complex, and every bit as strange as the Triglavians themselves. The controlled folly that is the Triglavians is a joy to experience, to the point that I'll even lightly roleplay being a Triglavian cultist when playing Eve. This also happens in the novel Three Body Problem. When facing an impending alien invasion, some fought back, and others felt it was better to throw in with the invaders, form cults and societies to support them, and perhaps help the human race to form a better, more worthy civilization, while others just wanted the invaders to burn it all down as if humanity wasn't worth saving. Maybe the Triglavians are teaching us, or seeing if we prove worthy, to use more of their technology. Perhaps they are preparing us for an even more important fight against the Drifters. It could also be a lot like what happened in Babylon 5 between the Vorlons and the Shadows, where the Drifters and Triglavians are preparing for an all-out war, with New Eden caught in the middle. Overall, EVE Online has some pretty fascinating lore that is only getting better with time. I'm not sure if this is intentional, but it almost seems like CCP Games doesn't flaunt or promote EVE Online's lore much. 
at least not in the way that a lot of other games do. But it's all pretty good science fiction, and I'll link some of my sources where they really dive deep into this lore in the description below as there are many fine details I've left out. Well thank you for watching Space Friends. Be sure to give this video a like and a share, and if you happen to be interested in Triglavians in the PvP aspect, I might like to fly with you. Feel free to contact me in game. And that goes for those of you who are into small gang PvP well and might be looking for a court. The details will all be in the description below. Until next time, space friends.